The water is important. And let me tell you why. Because Jesus said it was important. Because he said, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Man can only reproduce human life, but the Holy Spirit gives new life from heaven. So don't be surprised at my statement that you must be born again. Just as you can hear the wind, but can't tell where it comes from or where it will go next, so it is with the Spirit. We do not know on whom he will next bestow this life from heaven. So let's backtrack a minute because we're going to look at the book of John chapter 3. It reads, After dark one night, a Jewish religious leader named Nicodemus, a member of the sect of the Pharisees, came for an interview with Jesus. Sir, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miracles are proof enough of this. Jesus replied, with all the earnestness I possess, I tell you this, unless you are born again, you can never get into the kingdom of God. Born again, exclaimed Nicodemus, what do you mean? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, and I'll say this again, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Listen, water is important. It is important. Even in the book of Genesis chapter 1, It says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Right then again, he's talking about water and how the Holy Spirit was moved or was upon the face of the waters. Because water... It brings life. And Jesus talked about the living water when he spoke to the woman at the well in Samaria. John chapter 4 tells us that Jesus left Judea and was returning to the province of Galilee. So he had to go through Samaria and on the way And around noon, as he approached the village of Sakar, he came to Jacob's well. Located on the parcel of ground Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jesus was tired from his long walk in the hot sun and sat wearily beside the well. Soon, a Samaritan woman came to draw water and Jesus asked her for a drink. He was alone at the time and his disciples had gone into the village to buy some food. The woman was surprised that a Jew would ask a despised Samaritan for anything. Usually they wouldn't even speak to them. And she remarked about this to Jesus. And Jesus replied, If you only knew what a wonderful gift God has for you and who I am, you would ask me for some living water. Once again, the water is important because it's living water. Jesus goes on to say that people... Uh, soon become thirsty again after drinking this water, just regular water, but the water, he said, I give them, he said, becomes a perpetual spring within them, watering them forever, 
with eternal life. That's why I believe that water baptism is very important because it brings about life, the water and the spirit. Therefore, why would Jesus say it if it wasn't so? So it is so because he said it. Unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And then look at uh, the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 15 and 16. He said, um, you are to go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone, everywhere. Those who believe and are baptized will be saved, but those who refuse to believe will be condemned. And if we move on over to the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 11, John says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Once again, I'm believing in my spirit that when you go down into the water, I believe that that water, the Holy Spirit comes in and give you life. Even when Jesus had come from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him, but John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. I believe that when we get baptized or submerged into water, I think Jesus is saying to us that we are children of God now. And so the water and the Spirit welcomes us into the kingdom of God. And so based on these scriptures that I've read, and there are more, this is why I believe that according to scripture, the water and the Spirit is important. The water is important. With the Spirit, it ushers you in to the kingdom of heaven. You've now become a child of God, no longer in darkness, but in light. Amen. So if you haven't had a chance to be reborn, have a new life in Christ Jesus, the time is now to repent. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and be baptized with the water and the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, amen.